All right, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to this series. Uh, here I will focus on some basic pronouns. So this is a simplified version. There will be an advanced version later when I start to talk about cases. For now, we're just gonna use the two forms just like in English. In English, we have two forms because in English, we had cases before, doesn't matter. So for example, in English, we have I, me, you, you, doesn't change. Uh, he, him, she, her, it, it, doesn't change. We, us, they, them. Uh, so we're gonna use these and look at the Russian equivalents. Uh, so I've gone through the ones for I in the previous video when I was explaining the letters. So the one for I is ya. <coughs> and it kind of is similar to the way it works in English because I, me, ya, minya. Uh, so it changes to minya. So for example, if you use it like, uh, it's very s basically the same as in English. If you say, for example, I see him, he sees me. In Russian, it would be something like, ya vizu yivo, on vidit minya. So when you're doing the verb, it's ya. <laughs> when you're being acted upon by the verb, it's minya. So ya, minya. Okay, then we have you, singular you. So in Russian, they have two forms of you. They have singular plural we don't have this in english we used to have this in english but we don't now in the past we used to have like thou and the which was singular you but we don't have that now anyway so for you singular it's the or the t if you want to be really lazy and don't want to pronounce the ooh sound but the tibia the tibia um then we have he which is on and yvo on yivo. Then we have ana, yiyo. So again, Russian people won't write the yo at the end, so you will see it as ye ye, <laughs> the way Russian people write it, but it is ye yo, ye yo. Uh, just to be annoying, <laughs> Russian people do not ever write yo, so ye ye, ye yo. Um, then they have ano, which is kind of like the neutral it pronoun. It doesn't really I mean, it's only really used for like objects that are neutral. Uh, I'll go into gender in a future lesson, but most of the time you don't use this, I guess, unless you're talking about some kind of object that has that gender in some way. Um, but it would basically be this, it'd be ano and yivo. So it's exactly the same as, as him, as he, he, him, it, it, it and him is the same in Russian. So it's both yivo. Uh, then we have me or me if you want to be lazy which is a bit confusing because it sounds like me <laughs> in english but it's it's we and uh nas a bit different so me nas um plural you which is v same as the v v and uh vas is the uh the second form i guess it's called accusative form but anyway we'll get into that later then ani i <laughs> so it changes a bit uh some of these change quite a lot actually they're kind of unrecognizable uh, it takes a bit getting used to but so the person doing the verb on the on the so ya ya ti uh on ana ano muy voy ani uh and if you want the ones being acted on by the verbs it will be munya tibia uh yuvo yo Yivo again, uh, then nas, vas, i. So we use these after the verb. I hope that makes sense. So in the next episode, we'll go through verbs and I'll explain some conjugations. I'll probably start with just simple verb conjugations for I and you, just to get used to them first. Uh, verbs aren't too difficult, at least <laughs> uh, at the beginner stage, they're not too difficult, luckily. Uh, but I'll just focus on I and you at the start. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.